So let's say, for instance, you want to make a video that looks sort of like this, a loading GIF. Well, you load up Blender, which is an open source program. You get it from blender.org. You use Shift A to put in uh, a circle like this. You add a modifier, subsurf, to make it look nicer. You put in a circle, and you make it a little, give it a little bevel, and then you make sure it looks, it's all the way around, so it looks like a torus. Add a bit of resolution, and then give it a material, so it looks nice. I made it purple because I couldn't think of anything better. Why not? And then with the torus, I don't know. I guess you can make it the same as me. It looks nice. So the first thing we do is we go into the what is it the the graph editor and. Um, I don't know, set it to 60 FPS. We move the keyframe over and then select to make a keyframe at 90 degrees. Extrapolation mode linear, interpolation mode linear. And then we use Shift D to copy the circle. Go into editor mode and scale it up until it looks nice. Select both of them, make the larger one the parent, and what you'll find is that the middle one will rotate nearly twice as quickly because they're both moving, and because it's a parent, it will cause the middle to move a little bit quicker. Do it again. Shift right click, Control P to parent, and then do it again, Shift D to copy. Shift right click, Control P to parent, and there we go. That's all you really need to know. I mean, this this entire thing took me maybe 15 minutes. There's, I spent a lot of time making it nicer. In a different example. Oh yeah, here the camera. I use track to constraint to make sure it's always pointing in the right direction. I made it square. Use G Z Z which is movement along the local z-axis to um, basically zoom in and out. Alt-A to start the animation. And then, yeah, save it. Make sure you save it at 100%. Otherwise, it just saves a little, I don't know, personal copy. And that's it.